Mumps is a contagious viral infection, which means it spreads from person to person, and the spread is through respiratory droplets. It is a systemic illness and affects a number of organs and tissues. It is caused by the mumps virus, which is a single-stranded RNA paramyxovirus. virus. Mumps is endemic worldwide with epidemic outbreaks occurring approximately every five years in unvaccinated regions. It is the only known cause of epidemic parotitis. Parotitis is inflammation of the parotid gland, which is the largest of the three major salivary glands. It is commonly a childhood disease and peaks at five to nine years of age. Mumps can be prevented with MMR vaccine. With the implementation of widespread vaccination, the incidence of mumps has decreased substantially. Mumps historically has been a highly prevalent disease, commonly occurring in outbreaks in densely crowded spaces. These outbreaks may be due to low or incomplete vaccine coverage. But for the past decade, mumps outbreaks has been occurring among young adults who were vaccinated as children, leaving researchers puzzled. Winning immunity has been proposed as a key contributing factor to mumps resurgence. Humans are the only natural hosts for mumps virus, although infection can be induced experimentally in a variety of mammalian species. The incubation period, which is the time between the start of infection and when symptoms begin to show, is about 7 to 21 days. There is strong epidemiologic evidence that mumps can be transmitted before the development of symptoms and that the disease is most contagious one to two days before the onset of parotitis. The virus replicates locally in the upper respiratory tract mucosal epithelium. Then it quickly spreads to the local lymphoid tissue. Infection of mononuclear cells promotes viremia whereby the virus spreads to distant sites in the body and causes systemic inflammation in the salivary glands, testes, ovaries, pancreas, mammary glands, and the central nervous system. The prodromal phase typically has non-specific mild symptoms such as a low-grade fever, malaise, headache, myalgias, and anorexia, shortly followed by parotitis in the following days. Mumps parotitis is the most common manifestation of the virus, occurring in over 70% of infections. Parotid swelling is usually unilateral, although bilateral involvement is seen in 15-25% to cases. It presents as painful inflammation of the area between the ear lobe and the angle of the mandible. This is a 12-year-old boy who has a swelling between the ear lobe and the angle of the mandible. Orchitis is an inflammation of the testes. It is a complication of mumps, which leads to painful swelling, enlargement and tenderness of the testes, and is most often bilateral. Testicular atrophy develops in one half of those affected. Sterility and subfertility after mumps infection is rare and occurs in less than 15% of cases. Ophoritis is an inflammation of the ovaries. It is a rare complication amongst infected females with less than 5% developing infertility or premenopause. Central nervous system involvement is the most common extracellular complication of mumps. Its presentation is most often as aseptic meningitis. Other complications include encephalitis, transverse myelitis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, cerebellar ataxia, facial palsy, and hydrocephalus. Neurological complications are typically self-resolving and there is a low incidence of morbidity and mortality. Additional systemic rare complications include pancreatitis, myocarditis, thyroiditis, nephritis, hepatic disease, arthritis, carotitis, and thrombocytopenic purpura. Mumps infection can be confirmed by clinical features and laboratory testing. During an outbreak, the diagnosis is clinical 
in cases of parotid swelling with a history of exposure. When the local incidence is low, other causes of parotitis should be sought out. Laboratory testing is not routinely necessary to confirm a mumps infection, but in equivocal or uncertain cases, testing for other viral infections such as HIV, influenza, and para-influenza is necessary. Viral mumps infection in the absence of parotid swelling and or salivary gland involvement may present with symptoms of visceral and CNS predominance. In these cases, diagnosis relies on positive antibody titers and virus culture from oral secretions, urine, blood, and CSF. Laboratory confirmation techniques include reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction or RT-PCR and serum IgM antibodies. RT-PCR is for serum and oral secretions. Mumps is typically a benign illness that is self-resolving. Treatment is supportive care for each presenting symptom. Analgesic medications such as ibuprofen can help to ease symptoms. Cold or warm compresses can be used to ease the pain of swollen glands. Testicular swelling and tenderness can be treated with elevation of scrotum and cold compression. Post-infectious encephalitis, Guillain-Barre syndrome and thrombocytopenic purpura may be treated with intravenous immunoglobulin. Now prophylaxis, a common practice is to administer the mumps vaccine as part of a trivalent MMR vaccine. The vaccine is administered in two doses, with children most often receiving the first dose around one year of age and the second dose typically given between the ages of four to six. Post-vaccination immunity is around 80% after the first dose and 90% after the second dose. Thanks for watching this video. You may like to watch other videos in this playlist. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done yet.